G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, it's Ozzy here. Welcome to Storytime with Ozzy. Today we've got an awesome book about counting. Do you guys know how to count? Well, let's learn together in this one called The Cranky Crab Counting Book. Learn to count from one all the way to 10. And it's written by one of my favorite authors, Byron Guest from Bobo Books. A rainbow colored unicorn has one amazing magical horn. There it is there, can you count it? One. Good job kids. A cranky crab on sandy shores has two. Two big red clicking claws. Where's his claws? One. Two. Good job. Building with straw, bricks and twigs are the three little pigs. Let's count them together. One, two, three little pigs. Oh, and a big bad wolf. And do you know what I love about this book? Every page is a different color so we can learn our colors while we're going. This is yellow. A kitten playing on wooden floors has four furry little paws. So we've done one, two, three, four. Let's count his paws or her paws. One, two, three, four paws. And that's a green color. Green like Ozzy's sweatband and Ozzy's hat. A starfish crawls on ocean sands with five star-shaped pointed hands. Well, there's the starfish. Let's count the starfish's hands. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, kids. And that's the color orange. Good. A magnifier is needed to see an ant has six legs as small as can be. He's so small, the ant, so they need a magnifier to count the ant's legs and the ants. Let's count the ants. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should we count the legs as well? Yeah, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. I wonder what number comes after six. Can you guess? Or do you know? Upon the clouds, a rainbow stands with seven brightly colored bands. And this number seven is blue. And there's a blue inside the rainbow. There's actually two different shades of blue, isn't there? Well, let's count the different colors together. One, purple. Two, light blue. Three, darker blue. Four, green, five, yellow, six, orange, and after six is seven. Good job, seven is the red one. So seven brightly colored bands. Octopus can swim, walk, and run, having eight legs is so much fun. I think it would be. Can you imagine having eight legs? I think it's hard enough having two, but eight, I guess it could be pretty handy. Well, let's count them together. He's got purple legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. What does the clock on the wall say? I'm not sure, that's a tough one. It's nine o'clock today. Nine o'clock. 
and that's the color orange. Well, let's count the numbers and see if we can find nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There it is, nine o'clock. And after nine, I'm not sure what number it is, but let's work it out together. Now you've learned from one to 10. That's the number 10. It's time to count them all again. All right, from the beginning, one, two, three, four, five. And then the two hands to make six and seven and eight, nine, and then those two hands, all of those fingers, makes the number 10. So one all the way to 10. Wow, how much fun is that learning how to count with you guys from one to 10? And the best thing about this book is you get to color in the pages at the end. So we're gonna color in here on this page, some unicorns. How many unicorns have we got? One, two, and then a unicorn rainbow. And you can color in your own starfish. Which one's the starfish on this page? Well, they're normal fish. That's right, that one's the starfish, isn't it? And you can color in your own town hall clock. See the town hall? There's the clock. We've got some birds up there. One, two, three birds. Good job. Some clouds and a tree. There you go. So that's one of Bobo's books, or Byron's books, in his collection. Maybe if you check out Ozzy's channel, you might find some more. There's Hugo's hat, Mucky Duck, Hippos are heavy, and The Crunchy Carrot, some of my all-time favorite books. There you go, kids. I hope you've loved learning how to count with Ozzy today and checking out some colors, learning some colors as well. We'll see you on another brand new episode of Ozzy this weekend. Until then, Happy counting and stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grade up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids. And until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 Aussie,